Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we are down to the last two weeks of the NFL season, and there's still 24 teams with a chance at the playoffs, so every game is vitally important. Before we get into the action, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools you need to make your picks. So let's go and take a look at some of these games. We're going to look at five of them. Just scroll down through here. Some of them more important than others. So those are the ones we're going to focus on. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals. You notice here that both the teams enter play burning hot. The Chiefs have won their last six. And actually their winning streak has extended beyond that. But here's the last six game results all wins. And the Bengals have won four out of their last six and their last two. Kansas City is a five and a half point road favorite with odds of 1.41 to 2.868 with an over under set at 49.5. If we take a look here at the power ranking indicator, the Chiefs here are at plus 30, while the Bengals were at plus 15 just a little under two weeks ago, and they are up to plus 23 as of today. The totals predictor is showing here the Chiefs under the line. Um, actually over the line, excuse me, over the line in the last three games, while the Bengals over the line as well. That is a very good indication to bet the over. And if you look at the uh, score prediction here, the score predictor has Kansas City 34, Cincinnati 18, which would not only cover the spread for Cincinnati, or Cleveland, or excuse me, Kansas City, but it would also go over the line. And you notice the confidence in the prediction is at 73%. So that's a really pretty high level of confidence right now in the prediction. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent have they been according to their favorite and underdog status, you see that Kansas City is really very stable at plus 7. Wow, Cincinnati not so much here at minus 1. So take a look at that. Take that into consideration. Let's take a look at how the line has moved, if it has moved at all. And you can see it has moved some. It was 1.48. Opening line for Kansas City is now at 1.41, so they are even more of a favorite now than they were before. I like the, the trend, the way this is going. I do believe that Kansas City will win and cover in a game going over the line. New York Giants, Chicago has no bearing on anything. This is a good game, too. The Raiders and the Colts. You notice that both teams are coming in burning hot. The Raiders have won their last two and three out of their last six. And the Colts are on a three-game winning streak and five out of their last six. The Colts are a home favorite by six and a half points with odds of 1.34 to 3.220. And the over-under is at 44.5. The score prediction likes the Colts 33 to 21 with about a flip of a coin chance, 50-50 chance, actually 50.2%. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that the Colts are on an upward trend at plus 26. The Raiders are on a slight upward trend, trend as well. They are up to plus 12 from plus 8 just a short time ago. You notice here that uh, the Raiders have been trending a game under the line the last two and the Colts the last three. It's a good indication that this game will probably go under the line. And let's take a look at the... Uh, Volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? You can see here that the Raiders have not been very stable at all at minus one, while the Colts have been at plus six. Scroll down here at the line moves. Let's take a look at the money line here. The Colts money line started at 1.23, even a really, really heavy favorite. And then once the news came in about Carson Wentz uh, being placed on the COVID list, it went to 1.9, and now is back to 1.641. So I still like the Colts in this one. Even though the line has shifted somewhat, I do like the Colts in, to win this one in a lower scoring game and to cover the spread. Philadelphia Eagles in Washington. The Eagles enter play burning hot, winners of their last three and five out of their last six. Washington is averaged down. They have lost their last three and have pretty much fallen out of the playoff consideration. Uh, you notice that the, uh, both teams have been trending in games over the line lately. And if we go and look at the odds here, the Eagles are a three and a half point road favorite with odds of 1.59 to 2.352. And the over under is set at 45.5. The score prediction looks like they 
uh, over, going to over the line here by quite a bit, 37 to 18 in favor of the Eagles with 69% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see here Washington up to plus 23 just a couple weeks ago, and they have dropped off the map down to plus 10, while the Eagles are on an upward climb there at plus 16. The Eagles have a lot to play for. Washington really does not. That's another thing that leans me towards the Eagles, but let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? Uh, let's see. Both teams have pretty consistently been performing according to their favorite underdog status. Again, that also leans me towards the Eagles. But let's take a look at the money line. See if there's been a lot of movement there. Uh, it opened at 1.592. And it's interesting how it has moved up and down uh, somewhat. But now it has set back down to 1.592. So I like the Eagles in this one. I think they will win this game. I like them to cover, and I like a higher scoring game as well going over the line. The Rams and the Ravens. The Rams enter play. Oh, excuse me. Let's go back down to the Rams and Ravens. There we go. The Rams and Ravens. The Rams enter play burning hot, winners of their last four. While the Ravens are ice cold down, they have lost their last four. Two teams completely going in opposite directions. The Rams look to improve on their number three seed in the NFC. And Baltimore is currently 8th in the AFC. The Rams are a 3.5 point road favorite with odds of 1.59 to 2.352 with an over under of 46.5. The score prediction likes the Rams in a 41 22 blowout with confidence in prediction of 70%, and that would blow away the over under line. That would go over by almost 17 points. I don't think it, that's going to be the case here, but I do like over because both teams have been trending in games over the line. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Rams are at plus 28, while the Rams have dropped from 21 down to 13. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable and consistent have the two teams been? Uh, relatively stable, plus 4 for the Rams, plus 2 for the Ravens. Not as high as some teams, but they are, but they are positive, so they have been pretty well consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. The money line started with the Rams opening at 1.621, and they have become even a stronger favorite at 1.592. I do like the Rams to win and cover. I don't think it's going to be as big of a blowout as, as the score prediction is showing, but I do like the Rams to win and cover, and we will bet over the line. Tampa Bay and New York Jets, that is not a game that we really need to consider. As are most of these other games coming up, there's one or two more that I want to take a look at as we scroll down through the list. Arizona and Dallas, this actually could be a pretty good game. I'm not really taking a look at that one. Carolina and New Orleans. Detroit and Seattle. There's a lot of games you can take a look at as on your own leisure. Uh, here's the one that we want to take a look at. Minnesota and Green Bay. A classic game in the NFC North. Minnesota needs to win to hold on to any play type of playoff chances. And they go to Green Bay, who has the number one seed in the league at the moment. Minnesota's averaged down coming off of a loss, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. While Green Bay is burning hot, they have won four in a row. The Packers are a 6.5-point home favorite with odds of 1.34 to 3.22, with an over-under 47.5. The score prediction has the Packers in a very comfortable 39-23 to 23 margin of win, which would go way over the line with confidence in prediction of 70%. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see the discrepancy. Green Bay at plus 31 and the Vikings at plus 19. If you're considering the over and under, which you always like to do, uh, Green Bay has been over in four, five out of the last six games. In Minnesota, five out of the last six games. This is a great chance to win some money betting the over. The stability factor. We can see here that both teams have been performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status at plus 6 to plus 4. Any changes in the money line? If you look at this, it looks like there has been quite a change here. It started at 1.34. You can see it went to 1.31. Then there's a sharp decline. Went to 1.37. But still, overall, you can still see a very heavy favorite for the Packers all the way through. The Packers will win this game and cover in a game going over the line. And that is the last game we want to look at for this week. Happy betting, happy new year, and we will see you next time.